Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi, welcome. I have a new Alphalete launch for you guys to review, to try on, to go over, to give you guys all the tea. You guys already know the deep. I want to make this more like a morning talks type video. If you follow me on Instagram, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but just a little bit more chill laid back i just want to feel like i'm on facetime with you guys and i'm just giving you guys a tea on the new alphalete launch so the launch is going to be on saturday december 16th and that's going to be at 10 a.m pacific standard time that is 12 p.m central standard time i will include a list of all the time zones here and convert the time for you guys that way you guys don't have to worry about that but the launch is this saturday so i need to get this video uploaded for you guys so you guys know what to spend your money on and what not to spend your money on it is a little bit later in the day than i normally like to film but you know what i need to get this video up and i have an hour to do so because i have somewhere to be I have to leave my house at 6 o'clock. So I will be popping an energy drink. It is 4.22 right now, so I need to leave by like 6. So I have a little bit more than an hour um, to get this all done. So the main portion of this video is already done, the try-on part. But now I'm going to talk to you guys and let you guys know my thoughts after trying on all these pieces. And I'm going to do an energy drink just because I need some energy. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know we do ASMR when I open my energy drinks. This is the Alani Cosmic Stardust. Okay, I will be including pictures as always for you guys to follow along and pause to look at the details of each product. So, we have quite a few items launching. There are sports bras, shorts, leggings, and tees dropping. This is going to be the contour shorts and leggings. And they've only done one other drop besides this one of the contour leggings and shorts. And I always get the question of if I prefer the contour over amplify. I don't know. Like, yes and no. I think the contour is a lot more flattering because of the little details that it has and just the way that it like contours your legs and glutes but I still think that Amplify is very flattering I'm not gonna knock her because Amplify will always be that girl for me but I think this is just like an elevated Amplify I don't care too much for like the waffle detail and the leggings uh it's like a eh, like I think it would look better without it but I feel like it serves a purpose like just to kind of cinch you up so i will be going over everything i didn't get a lot of the tees just because i wanted to grab more of the amplify uh, sports bras and shorts and leggings so i only got one of the tees so i think i'll start this video off with the t-shirts since i just got one of them this is going to be alphalete's like heavy cotton tees so it is going to be a relaxed fit and this is going to have a high neck with a ribbed collar. This is the Heritage Tee. And I got this in vintage black. It also comes in white. So it's not like a flat black, which I like because it kind of has like that washed out color. So this is the back of the shirt. And I like it because it includes all of Alphalete's logos. Like any logos they've ever put on any of their clothes is on this shirt which i thought was like really cool just to see all like the different logos so i got a size medium you can size up size down however you like your shirts to fill um or to fit i like more of like an oversized as the alphalete logo here it is going to be more of like a rough feeling shirt it's not like the brushed shirts that we have had before this is like just a cotton t-shirt and I got this color because I feel like I have a lot of white but I don't have a lot of like washed black colors or like gray colors so I was like you know what this will be a staple it'll match with everything so this is the heritage tea uh, we also have the smoke tea launching that one is going to come in two colors in a dolphin blue and a black I thought that design was like really cool and like very different than anything Alphalete has done before and we also have the 
uh, Houston Tea. I didn't pick this one up because it is yellow. I feel like I'm not going to wear yellow very much. But I do have some of the other colors that have launched on this tee. And I really like the style of this shirt. I just wasn't a big fan of the yellow. So I didn't pick that up. There is also the Ghost Tee. I was so close to getting the, the Ivy. Which is like a green. Like a dark green. But I was like no. I'd rather get something else instead of a t-shirt. But that comes in two colors. Ivy and black breast tee which comes in cement and navy also very cool designs but i think for me my top two designs are going to be the ghost tee and the heritage tee i like the houston tee but not in the yellow color i would pick that up in like a different color so next i'm going to go into the sports bras and there are two styles of sports bra dropping i messed up and i thought i got two and two but apparently i got three and one <laughs> so i'll start with the one that i got a one of so this is going to be the amplify deep v bra it is going to come in six colors white skyscraper central park new burgundy manhattan and black i got it in the color black i thought i had also got it in skyscraper but i guess i got it in the other sports bra um so this is going to be a low impact sports bra it has a seamless construction rib panel to contour and support low to medium impact has moisture wicking breathable fabric and a flattering scoop neckline so all of these sports bras are going to come with removable cups i got them all in a size extra small honestly i could have probably done a small in these bras since they are very similar to like Alphalete's Amplify bottoms, it's not going to have like too much of a stretch. It's supposed to like hold you in. So it's not too stretchy. Like it's stretchy, but it's not very stretchy. It's pretty like tough. So I feel like this fit a little bit tighter on my waist. Um, so I could definitely do a size small. Usually I always get an extra small just because I do have smaller boobies and usually extra small fit just a little bit more flattering but because there are no adjustable straps at all on on these bras i would definitely recommend staying your true to size that way it's not like hurting you and it's not uncomfortable um it does have some stretch on the straps so this is the back of the bra the design is very beautiful I just think that I could have probably done a small or if they had adjustable straps, I think it would be a lot better. The deep V, I like it. I just think we need less fabric on the sides to make it more of like a minimal bra. Like if we could take off some fabric here and just kind of like make it thinner, I think it would be very flattering. Um, but again, that might just be because I have smaller poobies. But it definitely like held me in. I have to try it like during a workout, but I feel like because I got an extra small, I felt very held in place because it was a little bit tighter and it does have a pretty good coverage. So I feel like this would be a good bra for both bigger chested girls and smaller chested girls. I would just be careful about the deep V. I feel like it sits pretty far apart. If we were to maybe put it a little bit like closer I don't even know like how that would be possible but just make this like not so wide just shrink it a little bit I feel like I would I would I wouldn't feel like my nipple is going to come out deep V is kind of like spread I feel like it should be a little bit closer so that it gets more like coverage of the nipple on like the inside part I think that would like be a good way to like tweak this to make sure we have no nip slips we just want to be safe in the gym okay we want to wear a cute little dainty sports bras but we want to make sure that we are secure and we're not going to have a nip slip in the gym next is the amplify xl bra and this comes in eight colors so white grand central skyscraper central park times square new burgundy manhattan and black so i got this in three colors i got skyscraper central park and times square so this bra is showing up a lot brighter than it actually is in person it's more of a muted like burnt orange color and it's showing a lot brighter on camera so don't be alarmed it's not this bright in real life it's more of like a muted burnt orange um, but this is going to be the XL bra 
So this is the front. This is going to have more coverage on the front of the bra in comparison to the deep V bra. So this is going to be a medium impact, a low to medium impact sports bra. Has a seamless construction, rib panel to contour and support, moisture wicking, breathable fabric, and flattering scoop neckline. So this is going to have kind of like that low to medium stretch. I mean, as far as the like waistband goes, so I would definitely stay your true to size. I feel like I could definitely do like a small in this bra but I think I would get a lot more coverage here so I don't think it'd be as flattering but it would probably be, be a little bit more comfortable so I would definitely get like your true to size it is going to have removable cups it doesn't have adjustable straps again I think we need to have adjustable straps because I feel like that definitely helps like I can do an extra small but adjust the strap so that it's not as tight and as compressive but I definitely feel like it helps just hold you in so I would stay your true to size on this bra I think it's a very flattering bra I will say that I think in the back I do notice a little bit of like a scoop it's not like flat and straight across it does have a little bit of a scoop the alphalete isn't going to be stitched in. They, it is more like a printed, like, you know, like those iron-on, like, label type things. And it's not raised at all, but it's not stitched in how the Amplify bottoms are. So, yeah. I do like how it's, like, again, very, like, I don't even know if you can tell. But on here, there's a square around the alphalete and then the ribbed detailing. But it's not stitched in. It just feels like a ironed on label. But I don't think it'll come off very easily. So I got an extra small in this bra as well. And this is in the color Times Square. Next color that I got is Central Park, which is this beautiful green, like dark green color. I think it's so beautiful so stunning honestly i feel like these color combinations seeing them all together they go so so nice again i would stay your true to size i can do an extra small or small i think for this bra i would probably be a little bit more comfortable in a small versus the extra small it has removable cups it has a v but it's not as deep of a v which is still like flattering um but it, it's not as deep as the deep V bra. But. And then I also got that same bra in Skyscraper. I feel like this color has a little bit more stretch to it compared to the other colors. I think it, like if we had adjustable straps, this bra would be way better. But this color feels like it has a little bit more stretch to it as far as like the bra. But I do think that the design is super cute. I do like the very minimal look to it. It's not so bulky. So I do like that the straps are thinner and not like, you know. So out of the two bras, which one is my favorite? I really like the deep V bra style, but I think that I like this one more just because I feel like it's not as like thick going throughout. So you see how like this, how it's thick and then it thins out. I feel like that's what this bra needs. Like to be thinned out a little bit more on the top. So just have it like come in and thin it out more. Like it is thinned out a little bit compared to the other like to the rest of it but I think that if we thinned it out a little bit more to take away just from the outside I feel like it would be a lot more flattering so it's a little bit more like of a dainty bra but it has still good coverage so I feel like obviously like they did it on purpose so that it's not so thin and so like you have coverage so I feel like it's I understand like why but in my personal opinion, I think if we took off a little bit of the fabric here, it just would be more flattering on me personally. So you really can't go wrong with either one of these bras. They are pretty similar, except one has 
less coverage more like that deep v this one is not as deep of a v so kind of just like depends preference wise which one you like personally i think for me this would be a lot more flattering if this was thinner but again it does give you more coverage so that's always good and then this one is a little bit like just thinner here so i feel like i'm not as like i don't have so much material going on but again it might just be because i am a smaller booby girl so yeah you really can't go wrong with either one of these although i would love to see these with like adjustable straps i think that would make these sports bras a lot better next i'm going to go into the amplify contour leggings these come in six colors grand central skyscraper central park times square new burgundy and manhattan so again this is going to be like the amplify leggings there's just added features to it that make it like contour and just elevate the amplify leggings so it is a high-waisted legging three-tiered taper waistband seamless knit fabric no front seam back scrunch detail to enhance curb leg and glute contouring panel this is going to be a high impact legging so all of my leggings i personally like to get an extra small just because I feel like it's a little bit more flattering on my legs and my glutes. So all of these are going to be in a size extra small. I do also include sheer test, squat proof test of each of these leggings. So I'm going to start with the color skyscraper. So I'm going to start with the color skyscraper, which is going to be this beautiful gray. I feel like this kind of looks pretty similar to like other colors that have launched, but this is in the contour versus like the regular amplify so if you really are a fan of the contour then I would probably pick up this gray or if you don't have a gray amplify already I would definitely pick up this gray I think I really like con the contour is definitely like growing on me more and more it is a very flattering legging I just think I don't care too much for like the waffle detailing it's like whatever's to me but I just think I would prefer like less detail so here's the waffle detailing again I feel like it just helps to really contour because the leggings don't stay straight like you can see it's not straight it kind of like curves throughout the legging where like the waffle detailing is compared to like the other amplify where it'll just like stay straight so I feel like the waffle detailing just kind of like scrunches it all together and just kind of helps to form and fit to your body which again makes it just very flattering but personally I think it'd be like better without the waffle detailing if we just had this like contour that we have going on here because the contour is very subtle very minimal but I feel like it makes a difference and it kind of like scoops in underneath the glue if I could show you so it like scoops in underneath like the glute right here not like completely under but it just kind of scoops a little bit into the glute so I just feel like it flatters the glute a lot more since I did get an extra small in this color it is going to be a little more sheer in comparison to like my shorts again for me sheerness is not like a huge deal but just so you know it is going to be a little bit more sheer if you do size down so when you stretch the fabric you have less squat proofness okay so if you don't want it to be sheer I would definitely stay your true to size again I could do a small or an extra small I just personally prefer the way extra small fits on my legs and my glutes um although on my waist is a little bit tighter i just kind of deal with it it doesn't have too much stretch at the waist so if you don't like a tight compressive waistband stay your true to size um, and then this is the color grand central grand central is going to be a little bit more on the sheer side so for the leggings and the shorts it was a little bit more on the sheer side for me just because it is a very like light color so i always do a squat test to show you guys and without even squatting you guys can see that i had the buff bunny sticker on my glue but this is a very beautiful color i feel like it's very similar to like chai and linen but this is 
the contour leggings so if you don't have those colors or if you do have the colors but you have tried the contour and you just love the way that contour fits then i think this is a very beautiful color to get again you really can't go wrong with these colors they mix and match so well with each other so i would definitely go for a color that you like and that you wear more or don't have a lot of if you're a warm tone girly then i would definitely go for this color but if you're a cool tone cool tone girly then i would definitely go for skyscraper which is the gray so it just depends on your preference they're both beautiful colors you really can't go wrong with either one of these two um truthfully these are both in like my top three they're tied for three i don't know which one i like more but i like them both and then last color that I got is Central Park, which again is this beautiful deep green color. This is probably my top favorite color, like one or two, I would say. It's just a beautiful dark green, and I feel like this matches so nice with all the colors. I feel like I'm going to say that about all of these colors because they just mix and match so well. Like, even like color combos that you wouldn't think go together again this is like a muted orange but i feel like this is such a beautiful color combo the grand cent the central park and the times square like i would definitely match these two together i feel like this color is definitely a little bit more squat proof um but because i did get an extra small in the leggings it is going to make it a little bit sheer on me personally it's not a big deal if my bottoms are sheer. I always just wear thongs to the gym, so you really can't see nothing. All you're seeing is my butt cheek. Like, if I was wearing a bikini, you'd basically be saying, seeing the same thing. So I'm like, I don't care if it's sheer or not. But I know some girlies go commando to the gym, so I know that that might be an issue. Or if you just don't like your, your bottoms to be sheer, then I completely understand. Again, I personally do not care. Because if I were to wear a bikini, you would be seeing the exact same thing. These are going to be a high compression legging. So again, if you don't like it to be too compressed on on you and you want a little bit more give to it, then just stay your true to size. Next, I'm going to be going into the shorts. And I got every single color in the shorts. I'm going to be 5 inch shorts. I got every single color in the shorts. I don't know. I just feel like I didn't have some of these colors in shorts versus the leggings there are certain colors that i have of like the regular amplify so i was like you know what let me just pick up all the colors in the shorts versus all the colors in the leggings so this is going to come in six colors grand central skyscraper central park times square new burgundy and manhattan um again this is a five inch short it is a high impact short it is a high-waisted short three tiered tapered waistband a seamless knit fabric no front seam back scrunch detail back scrunch seam detail to enhance curves and leg and contour and panels so this is the color new burgundy so i feel like i have a legging in the amplify that's very similar so i just picked up the shorts instead these shorts were squat proof so i didn't see the buff bunny sticker poking through but again just keep in mind anytime you stretch out the fabric it is going to make it a lot more sheer so stay or true to size if sheerness is something that you don't like um this is obviously a lot more stretchy on me it does have a little bit more give at the waistband truthfully i i feel like i should have ordered an extra small in the shorts just to kind of see the difference in the feel but normally I always get my shorts in the small just because I don't like it to be tight on my um, thighs I feel like this has a lot of stretch that so I can probably do an extra small and then this does have the contour but again it's very like minimal since it is the shorts it doesn't have the waffle detailing I don't know if you can tell so it's more of just like this textured versus here there's like no texture so this kind of just helps contour on the legs and it comes from like here to the side down all the way and the alphalete is going to be stitched in this is just like OG amplify bottoms except it has more con contouring to enhance um, I do know that this is supposed to fit like and kind of like cup underneath your glute just to kind of make your glutes sit a little perkier a little prettier so 
I think next time I'm gonna try an extra small just to see how extra small fits because I feel like I could get away with an extra small since it is pretty stretchy but the waistband might fit a little bit tighter so we'll see but I feel like the thigh part since I know I like how an extra small fits on me on the waist even though it's a little more compressive I'm okay with it I think I could definitely do an extra small because this is normally what I struggle with on my shorts is my thighs and I don't like it being too tight or rolling up I did I always experience rolling with my shorts I feel like that's inevitable for me but maybe an extra small like might sit right underneath and like not move and budge for me but I did have rolling with all of these shorts but I feel like I, I always do with my shorts okay it is what it is not a big deal to me but if you do care about that I did experience rolling on those shorts. the next color is the color Manhattan and this one was also squat proof so it's like this beautiful chocolate brown and I have a brown that's pretty similar to this in Amplify Leggings. So I was like, you know what, let me just pick up the shorts. So here's Manhattan, just a beautiful brown. I'm a neutral, neutrals girly, so of course I had to pick up this color. I'm a little bit bummed. I feel like I should have gotten like um, the Grand Central in the sports bra, like that beigey light color. I feel like it definitely would have matched so beautiful. With these bottoms i might have to pick it up but it is a five inch inseam short has stretch at the bottom you know yourself and you know how you like your clothes to fit you so just kind of go based off of that you can honestly stay your true to size if you want less compression you can size up just keep in mind you have might have a little bit more fabric down here in like the gusset area you might have a little bit more bunching so i would say your true to size if you want more compression you can definitely size down next is the color times square this one i did have a little bit more sheerness in comparison to the other two colors it is a beautiful burnt orange muted color the more you stretch the fabric the more sheer it's going to be but this one was already pretty sheer and it wasn't sheer so much like when i was standing it was more sheer when i was like squatting but it has a good stretch throughout the leg. The only thing that doesn't have as much stretch is the waistband. So this is meant to be a little more tighter, have a little bit more compression in comparison to the rest of the leg. This has more stretch. These are going to be the same as the last Amplify Contour launch as far as length. Everything does fit the same, the waistband and the rest of the leg. Next is Central Park. This is also a squat proof bottom again i feel like if you stay your true to size you're going to be pretty good on the squat proofness except for certain colors and again i'll mention those colors that are have a little bit more sheerness to it but i feel like this one was very squat proof the only one so far that i've showed you guys is times square that has a little bit more sheerness but beautiful beautiful green color Next is a skyscraper. This was a little bit sheer, not very sheer. It's not, it wasn't as sheer as Times Square, which I'm kind of surprised about, but it was just a little bit sheer, not too bad. Has a high compression on the waist, stretchy on the bottom. But let me see if I can show you guys the detailing on the legs. So here's the contour on the shorts. So this side right here has that like texture and this is more of just like the contouring panel that goes down and along the back. Back side of your glute. It's not literally the full back but it kind of just goes a little bit into the back just to make it a little bit more flattering. And then we have the scrunch. The popular scrunch, this is going to be the same scrunch you can kind of see even just like me holding the shorts i feel like the butt is kind of like sticking out i don't know it kind of reminds me of like the skims butt enhancing like look at the butt sticking out. next and last color is going to be grand central and this is going to be the most sheer color in my personal opinion again this is going to be very similar to like the color linen and chai i think chai is just a little bit darker but i think this is the most similar to linen but this is going to be the most sheer color out of all of them 
But yeah, this is a very, very pretty color, but it's going to be the most sheer. So detailing on the leg, on the shorts, you can probably see it more here. The, the feeling, like the fabric, this is going to feel like the last contour amplify leggings. It's not as thin or it doesn't feel as delicate as this last Alphalete amplify. It's not as soft and as delicate. This is going to feel like the contour that has previously launched. So I feel like it's going to be a little bit more durable in comparison to the last Alphalete amplify launch. But that is all for this video. If you guys do have any questions at all, you can leave it down in the comments below. I will have all my stats information down below. Any questions, you can also go onto my Instagram. I will be doing a question box now that I have tried on everything and have reviewed everything. I can answer you guys' questions. But this launch is going to be on Saturday, December 16th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. You can also use my code Viviana to support me and save some money. And if you do use my code, please, please, please let me know so I can personally thank you. I just like to say thank you to you guys, even though, like personally, even though I give you guys like a big thank you all together, I just love to say thank you to you guys. And I love seeing what you guys get. So please show me, tag me, however, whatever. I just love to see your guys' outfits. Um, so yeah, I will be doing color comparisons and color combos on my Instagram. So go follow me over there to see all of that. Just so these YouTube videos aren't so long. I feel like it's faster to just go through Instagram stories versus sitting here watching a whole YouTube. But that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys get everything you guys want for this launch and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!